You know it's bad when sort of commentating on every time it rains. Thank goodness for the trees and the breeze is all I can say on this one because it's been so hot. And I have like been thinking to myself, are you cut out for this? Because this is probably what farming is gonna be like and maybe, maybe I'm not tough enough. So I think I've broken it. So in a rather exciting development today, we have a new Highland calf. So Nick over here is topping up the gearbox oil on the topper and I'm getting ready to do some topping. First bit of topping of the year. Hey. It was needing a lot of oil. Yeah, it's taken a fair bit, so it's definitely ready. lump and then the next thing the whole shebang's not working anymore so it's game over <laughs> so back down to the farm i go i have to find something else to do but i just thought let's have a look at the lane because the lane looks stunning <laughs> what do i think has happened i think that um the shear pin has broken. So when it broke down, we found we found like this much on the on the top of the topper, um, but we couldn't find out where it went. So uh, we had a chat. With so I've just had a chat with a mechanic friend, and he, he said it's probably your shear pin that's gone. Uh, so I was like, right, okay, let's do a bit more investigation. Taken taken the PTO shaft cover off, and we can now see in here there we think maybe it goes in there but we're still going to find out how to get this in and get the old bit out if there is a bit in there and that sort of thing so. so we have got the uh we took the pto cover off to get a bit more access and then i was able to find out that uh the pto comes off we've never we've never done any stuff with this before so we didn't know like how it was connected or anything so i was able to get my hand in and realize there's a bit of a button a pto button and uh and it came off so we can get a bit better access to it now so now we can put the new pin on if we where can find it? where we put it <laughs> please over there somewhere under there under here So this is going to go in here. So you've just got two sliding things. Two sliding things. And what happens is if there's too much uh, tension, it just snaps it halfway. So the and word they both is, drop out. it's a sacrificial part. It's a sacrificial part, yeah. It's designed to be weak. <laughs> Which is a weird thing to say, isn't it? But it's to save the gearbox. Yeah, save the gearbox. So that's good. We've saved our gearbox. We think. Yeah. So. 
the topper unfortunately was still broken so um, I had to stop the vibrations were worrying me so I had to stop and we ended up getting a mechanic out who had a look at it and said yes um, the bolts the bolts that fit, fit it on are gone so we're waiting on replacement bolts um, and then maybe we'll be up and running again so after we had this really wet March and April uh, where the fields in April were like a slurry we're now in a situation um, in early June where the ground is rock hard and it's hardly rained for about a month and we desperately need rain to keep the grass growing for the livestock. Um, the fields for the hay meadows are looking all right but in terms of the livestock we're going to be running out of grass so thank goodness we've got some hay left over um, because we might be needing it um, we've got about another two and a half weeks or so before we can start to think about cutting the hay because we're on this scheme where we're not supposed to mow until early July. So it means we can't get the hay meadows cleared until then. So that adds a bit of pressure on. And I guess worst case scenario is we could just duck out of the scheme. And um, But I think first of all, we'll, we'll cut the we'll use the hay that we've got left over first. So um, so now it's really hot. It's supposed to be 27 degrees, I think, today. So I'm just gonna check on the cows, checking around everything, first job of the day, check that they're all okay. And it's obviously the nicest time of day because it's cooler. Um, the cows on the moor might need water tomorrow. And then tomorrow, also we're doing this memorial tractor run for my dad. So hopefully lots of vintage tractors, um, are going to come and I'm going to be cooking and hopefully it'll be a really nice way to honour his memory and the things that he loved. So just checking on the cows now. Here they are. Sometimes I think you're going to get bored of just seeing the same stuff but basically my life is seeing the same stuff every day but slightly different and uh, and I still have to stop to appreciate it. Um, so how's the water doing? Plenty, plenty of water, so I'm not going to need any water tomorrow. And how many cows have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All present and correct. Keeping cool under the trees. I am worried about the lack of rain, um, but I'm trying to control my worrying. As um, obviously last year was a really dry time and we managed to get through that. So I keep thinking to myself, you know, you've made it through last year. Um, you can make it through this year. So I'm trying to sort of um, stay calm about it, if that if that makes sense. I have like been thinking to myself, are you cut out for this? Because this is probably what farming is going to be like, and maybe maybe I'm not tough enough. We are in this heatwave situation. It's Monday, the 12th of June. We've just put a garlic tub in for the cows up here flies are really bad they're biting me so I can only imagine that they're causing far more of a nuisance to the cows um, and we're just filling up the water bath as well so it's garlic and salt so hopefully it'll help with the flies and what have you been doing Nick uh, I have been putting up some homemade fly traps so Nick is a man of many talents as you know this is a homemade fly trap. Just explain what it is. Uh, so it's it's basically anything that sort of smells rotten uh, in a in a bottle with a bit of water with, with a bit of water and a, and a hole in it for the flies to get in and hopefully not find their way out. They're enjoying the salt and they're enjoying the water. You know it's bad when 
sort of commentating on every time it rains. And I think we've had 30 days without rain here, which is definitely quite a rare thing, but lots of places in the UK have experienced that. Um, yesterday, which was the 11th of June, there was a tiny shower in the evening. Some places locally got really heavy rain and we didn't get it. Obviously we really need the rain. Really, really, really. Um, and now it's just raining a bit now, thunder and lightning and some sort of steadyish rain just in the process of checking around all the livestock but hopefully this is going to do some good for the grass but i don't think it's going to be enough rain and it needs a lot more and the heat needs to chill out big time i think it's been about 30 degrees the last few days so scorching for us here in derbyshire good morning so it's six o'clock wednesday the 14th of june the heat wave here continues sort of 28 to 30 degrees at the moment in the daytime so the best time of day morning and night for being outside really um and the grass is uh hanging on for now uh, keep checking the weather hopefully it's going to turn a bit showery next week so this is the field that I was topping, but the topper broke. So hence the patchy, patchy topping. And I can see my little bottle fed lambs coming over. Here they are. Hello. Hello, little ones. So in a rather exciting development today, we have a new Highland calf, courtesy of Francis. <laughs> And I believe it's a heifer calf, we think, although we haven't got too close just yet. Um, but that's good. Two heifers so far off of Bill. Um, and pedigree cow, pedigree calf, pedigree bull. So that's good. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I think the next one's going to be the tractor run that I mentioned, the memorial tractor run, raising money for Macmillan cancer and remembering my wonderful dad, John Shinwell, by taking the vintage tractors out. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Maybe there'll be some rain. Bye.